Hello everyone, this is Little Rainbow Peep, and today I'm going to show you um, my, what my hair looks like before I'm going to get a perm. So this is kind of like my natural hair. All I put in it is um, just some detangler, um, color protect spray, and um, mousse. And then I just um, like scrunch up the mousse and let it dry. I did... Um, let it dry for a long time and then I put or and then I finished drying it up with a diffuser on my blow dryer um so this is what it looks like it doesn't look too bad today but recently it's just been bothering me it used to be curlier like I used to actually get some curls out of it when I was in high school and so I don't know I mean I know your hair changes so I guess that's what my hair is doing it's just going through a change but it's just kind of like blah and I just feel like I need to get a change. So I'm thinking about getting a perm next week. So this is what my hair looks like before. And then I will show you in like a second, you'll see it. But for me, it'll be like a week from now. What my hair looks like after I get a perm. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's all. Let me show you the back. This is just what it looks like. And um, I mean, I'm hoping that I don't want to get like a super tight curls. Just I would just want some loose curls. But like right now, it's just like wavy and mostly frizzy, and it's just bothering me. So I'm thinking about getting perm. We'll see how that goes. All right. So it has been exactly two weeks since I had gotten my perm and this is what my hair looks like now. So as you can tell, it is a lot more voluminous at the roots, which is great. That's what I wanted. However, um, it isn't curly, really. It's just like the same wavy texture my hair was before. I just didn't have as much volume at the roots. It's just the same wavy texture, just a little bit tighter waves. Um, so this is my hair, it's all dried. I styled it with a diffuser. It does look a lot more flat and boring when I don't style it with a diffuser, but at the same time when I do use a diffuser, it kind of get these gets these weird crinkles in it from like the way that it's laying on the diffuser. I don't know how to really explain that, but um, so this is my perm. It did lighten my hair color um, quite a bit, I feel like. Um, I did have like this dark reddish color going on, but now it's lighter, and that's okay. Um, but she did have to cut off like two inches, even though I had just gotten a perm a couple of weeks before that, um, because she's, the perm solution just damaged my hair. So now my hair is a little bit shorter, but I'll turn around and show you what it looks like from the back hopefully it doesn't look too horrible but I do like it I'm not sure if I'll get a perm again but this is just my experience I know if you're thinking about getting a perm I was out there looking um, on YouTube to see you know before and afters type of videos and there weren't that many out there so I thought that I'd throw in mine also to the mix um, and I didn't have like six straight hair before and I have really, really thin, fine hair and I don't have a lot of it. So the reason I wanted to get the perm was because my hair was flat at the roots but it had wave at the bottom. And so I wanted something that was going to give it a little bit more volume, which this did. So I would have to say I'm happy with it but I'm not sure that I'll go and get another perm. I think I'll just try and work with my natural hair um, and use products and style it in a way that will make it work well. Um, today in my hair, what I use to style it is I brushed, I didn't brush, I combed my hair in the shower as I was rinsing out the um, conditioner and then I put it in a little turby twist while I was getting dressed and stuff and then I took that down. I didn't brush it again. Um, sometimes I will, but this today I didn't. And then I put, I sprayed some leave-in, it was Aussie hair insurance, um, leave-in detangler type thing. And um, I am still using, I think it's L'Oreal, it's just color protect and it's got heat protectant in it because I did use the diffuser even though 
um, with the diffuser, you use it on low heat and low like airflow. And then I also um, put in some of the Shea Moisture Smoothie Curl Enhancing Smoothie in there. I just rub that in my hands and just kind of like put it all through. And then a little tiny bit of Herbal Essences Curl the Purple Mousse. Um, just a little bit just to um, put some, I don't know, hold in there. Um, because the Curl Enhancing Smoothie is really good, but I some, like I feel like it doesn't have any of that crunch, which I don't really like the crunch, but I feel like it does give it a little better hold. And my hair has a problem like, like separating. Like I want it to have like, I want this curl to be defined and this curl and not just like a huge mess. So I want a little bit of that definition. So it was kind of like four or five products that I used. Um, and then I used a microfiber towel to scrunch that all up. And then I um, just use the diffuser for a little while. And that is how I style my perm and hope you enjoy. Hope this is helpful if you are trying to decide if you wanna get a perm or not. It just kind of depends on your hair. Um, you might not get what exactly you wanted. I wanted like ringlets and that didn't happen. So, but I'm sure it's just because I have really fine hair. So hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and have a wonderful day.